my name is Lindsay. I am with Perfectly Pastry. I am one of the co-founders of Perfectly Pastry. What is Perfectly Pastry? We are an online bakery with local services in the St. Louis and Southeast Missouri region. So today, my main topic that I wanted to talk about is how to create a hand washing station. So when we go to vendor events, if you are in the baking business and you're going to different events, you're going to farmer's markets, um, it's a lot of places require it, some places don't a lot do, um, but hand washing stations are really important. Um, it's a really important step to protect your customers and to ensure the safety and quality of your food um, for your customers. And so we just did an event in November and we had our hand washing station there and I wanna let you guys know, they are so easy to make. Now we bring everything already prepackaged. Um, it's already prepackaged and sold, and so we don't always we're not always required to have a hand washing station. But we actually bring our hand washing station with us because you never know when you're going to need to wash your hands for whatever reason. Um, in November we had the create your own cupcake. In, um, at our station, and so that's why it was really important that we had the hand washing station there. But at first we were like, oh, hand washing station. That sounds like it's going to be super complicated. It was so easy. And so I want to share with you guys how to make one. You can make them honestly for almost anything. We use ours for our food events, but you could use them when you're camping. You can use them um, if you're doing outdoor barbecues and you don't want to ton people in your house. Like there's all kinds of things that you can use them. Say you're at the park, those sorts of things. So I'm just going to go over real quick, just kind of the components that you need and like how to quickly set them up. We ordered everything honestly on Amazon. You don't have to get everything on Amazon. We just do Amazon a lot of times because we just have a lot that we're trying to pack in before we go to our events and let's just make sure we have everything. But you can pick them up honestly anywhere. The first thing you're going to need is a stainless steel automatic coffee urn. Um, they plug in and so if you don't have electricity available at your event or where you're, where you're at, you'll need to percolate and warm that water up before you go. Um, that's gonna be an important process. You can get ones that are not automatic, um, that are manual, and you can add boiling water and things like that to it, but we use one that's automatic, we plug it in. If we're not gonna have electricity, we let the water percolate prior, and that way it's nice and warm for our event. Um, then you need a trash can with a lid to dispose of your napkins and things like that. The best kind of lid is not one that you actually have to touch and lift. So it needs to be one that you can toss without having to touch the trash can itself. Um, you don't want to get your hands grimy and stuff after you have already washed them. Trash bags are a plus, but they're not required. Um, when you have the trash can lid on there, obviously the contents are not going to be all over the place. But for sanitary reasons, when you're like doing all that later, you just want a trash bag to throw it away. That's the best option, but you don't have to have the trash bag itself. Um, but you do have to have that trash can and you do need that lid. Um, you need liquid soap in a dispenser. It doesn't have to be an automatic dispenser. Seriously, you can pick them up for like 88 cents at Walmart, you know? You just have to have soap and it's best to have the dispenser for when you're washing your hands. The reason that you wanna use a stainless steel urn, coffee urn, is because it needs to be warm water, A, but B, it has to have a continuous flow. So anything that has a push button doesn't have a long enough process of allowing the water to rinse without having to touch it again, and so the hands are not necessarily getting clean. So make sure that it has a valve that you can turn on and turn off for a continuous stream when you're washing your hands. That's really important. Um, paper towels to dry your hands, you'll need those. Um, and then you toss them in the trash can, but you need to put the paper towels on a paper towel roll, or I'm sorry, paper towel dispenser. I have seen people use like a hanger and you slide it on the hanger and all those rigor remote, remote, you can do that. But seriously, like a paper towel holder is like a dollar at Dollar Tree, so you can do that too. Um, that's what we do is a paper towel holder. It works the best in our opinion, but you need it on something because you don't want the paper towels falling. You don't want them flopping everywhere, blowing away, those sorts of things. Um, it's unsanitary when they're rolling around in the dirt because then your hands get dirty. So put it on a paper towel holder. Um, you need a five gallon, well that's what we used, but you need a large catch bucket is what it's called. We use a five gallon bucket, super easy to get them. Um, you put it at the base of the water so when you turn the water on, it drips into that bucket and catches it. You have to find out where you can dispose of that water when you go to an event because not everybody's gonna let you just dump them down a drain. Um, you can't just have your water and your soap running down city drains and things like that. So it's really important you find out when you do an event where you're supposed to dispose of that water. That's just an FYI tip. But the bucket is there to catch that water and then you have to dispose of that water later. 
And then the last one is kind of easy. You need a table. You need a table to put it all on. You don't put it by your food. It needs to be a separate table where you can walk over, use your hand washing station, and then come back to service your customers to keep that food and that space clean and to keep your hands clean. So you'll go walk over to another table, wash your hands, then come back to serve the food to everybody. We always bring gloves where we go. We always bring hats or nets for our hair. Again, our stuff is packaged before we get there, but it's just for, we are over cautious because we want everybody and our customers to be safe. We don't want any kind of accidents to make people sick. So it's really important to us that we include those. Those are some extra things that I would pack if I was you. Um, but that's not necessary for your hand washing station. So as you can see, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. It's really not that complicated to get yourself a hand washing station when you're going to events. I highly, highly recommend them. It's best to have it and not need it than not have it and then you got shut down at your event because you were not meeting food code. Um, the best thing is to always contact your local health department whenever you're doing an event and specifically ask them. Like That's what they're there for. They should be an intricate part of your safety team. Don't be afraid of them. Talk to them. Like Whenever we did the decorate your own cupcakes, I had a phone conversation with the health department. Like Here's our idea. Please let us know what other steps we need to take to ensure the safety of our customers because we want them to be safe but we want them to have a good time too and so we worked closely with the health department to ensure that our a table and our setup was meeting health codes so that we can service the customers and then all the kiddos had a fun time decorating cupcakes so don't be afraid of your health department like they're seriously there to help you they're great people um, i highly recommend anytime you do an event to reach out to the local health department and make sure that you're doing everything that they want if you want to do something special ask them and find out what they require you to do to be able to do that that something special i appreciate you guys hopping on don't forget to check out our page tomorrow for your weekly did you know um, if you are watching this video and you have not followed or like us on Facebook I highly suggest that you do so because if you're watching the videos you find us entertaining you might as well like us and follow us on Facebook um, if you're on other social media we're on other social media who would have thought um, hop over to our other social media follow us on there we are at perfectly pastry Facebook is the only one that we are at perfectly pastry bakery Yes, yes, I know, I know, every time. Don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. All of the links and stuff are in the description. I will see you guys next week, and you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Thanks, bye.